Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will be seeing joints, that is inner join, left join and right join. Um, join is also, join and inner join are pretty much the same thing. So what this join exactly does is, it comes into picture when you have some tables related to each other. That is pretty much common uh, that we have in the database tables. So we create two tables and then have one primary key associated with one particular table and then have a reference key in another table and then say uh, match with these tables according to these particular columns. So the inner join, um, the join comes into picture at that particular instance. So uh, in this example I have created, uh, for example I have created two different tables which is contacts and scores. Let me show you what contacts looks like. Contacts. This is the contact. So contact, what does contact have? Contact has IDs and a first name, bunch of first names and bunch of last names. I have created a school table which relates to this school and then execute. Okay, school has first name, last name as well, but it also has a primary key, we are calling it SID, grade and school name. So now, how did I combine these contacts and schools? The first and last name in the contacts are uh, equal with the first and last name in the school. Now let's see how this uh, join works. So let's start with the join. Join is all join and in the join are pretty much the same thing. So what it does is it returns if there is at least one match in both the tables. So here, um, what are the matches do I have? For starting, let me just start the query. So first I should be writing select. What are the columns that you want to print? Let me just say I'll write the query and then I will explain it. That is contact dot first name and that dot last name and then school dot create now contact inner join school on contact dot first name equals School dot name and contacts dot last name equals school dot name and then select execute. So this is my output. Uh, I remember in the previous sessions what I've did is I used to write schema dot the table name. Now I'm not writing. How do you set that to default? Uh, right click on the first schema and just set as a default schema. Once you set it as a default schema, uh, you do not have to always say first schema dot contacts dot first name. You just can say select dot and it will take the schema as default. You can change as per your need. Okay, now let's see what this inner join is. Uh, so what it is doing, this query, it is selecting the contacts, the first name and the last name columns from the contacts. So this first name and this last name are the columns that we get from the contacts table right in here if you see. First name and last name and school dot grade. In the school also you see the grade column. So what I'm retrieving right in here, this is you can say star which will retrieve all the columns but I'm retrieving only specific ones. The first name, last name and grade. From which tables? From the contacts table and inner joining the table school. So these are the two tables that we are joining and want to retrieve the information. So we will say from contacts and inner join the school. You can say inner join or join, doesn't make a difference. And then on is the keyword that it that you use to set what are so uh, if you know what are the two columns that are uh, similar that um, integrate this contacts and schools. That for that you will use the keyword on. So on contacts dot first name and school dot first name. So the first name in here 
and the first name in here should be the same and the last name in here and last name in here should be the same so i did put and because if none of them were matches then it will not display anything only if first name and first name are equal and last name and last name are equal then retrieve me the first name last name and the grade from the contacts in the school so that is the inner join so what it does it returns if there is an at least one match in both the tables now we have found different matches okay you can see uh see right in here let's shift to the alphabetical order okay it says anu pudi push ravi siri shri we do not have other things that are listed from here select from contacts zipper see in here you have so many new mayan runal line you have so many different other first name last name but you do not have those information in school because see school doesn't have any of those because there is no combination it won't did not bring any of those values okay so this is uh, inner join so you get the same results i know when you grad even if you remove and so execute you get the same results okay now we have another keyword that is left to join now this left join the other it returns the rows from the left table even if there are no matches in the right so what is our left table is contacts so it brings all the information from the contacts even if there are no information from school remember we did not have anything from viom and my now let's execute see before we did not get viom mayan brinal nayan because there was no uh, related ids in the school but still because we said left join it got the information so what the left join does returns rows from the left table even if there are no matches in the right this is the right table this is the left table now what if you want to get the information from the right table which doesn't even match the left one then you would say right join and select aggregate and see you see right in here the first grade and the first grade they do not have any information related to first name and last name but still it got it so that is for the first and um last name okay uh so that's it. so that is how you get the information from the from the table linking them using join so this tutorial helps in for basic how to do how to do a join how to uh, do how to perform left to join right to join inner join so i hope this tutorial is helpful thank you